Hello, hello everyone from the garage. It is a uh, Friday. It's uh, kind of like a YouTube kind of day, uh, meaning like I'm making sure that I'm recording as many videos and as much content as I can, even though it's freezing, absolutely freezing in the garage at this moment in time. But uh, we've got quite an interesting video and the interesting video is talking about Silla Toolkit. Now, uh, if you've been living under a rock like I, I was uh, before I actually started using Silla Toolkit. Uh, what is Silla Toolkit? Okay, Silla Toolkit is a software which actually tells you how much profit you've actually got on Amazon. Okay, and you're not actually doing Amazon blindly. Um, you've got everything that's actually been selling uh, for us there. So what we've got, and so I'm gonna give you a quick snapshot in regards to what it looks like, and I'm just gonna show you a quick snapshot in regards to what it looks like, what I like about it, why I've been using it, because uh, it has actually been quite amazing in regards to my day-to-day -day business. So let's actually have a look. So first of all, we are going to, um, I'm just going to show you, I think, I'm hoping that I'm actually going to show you everything here. So, quick time now. So, uh, what you can actually see here is what the software actually looks like. So, at the moment in time, it looks like we've got 577 uh, quid in sales and 226. Well, that's not the case, okay? I know that that's not the case um, at the moment in time. So, what we need to be doing is we need to actually fix that number. So, you can see here, this is my last order that I've actually got. Okay, this is my last order and you can see that it's no cost for SKU and it's also not showing any sale. So, what does that mean for me? Okay, that is actually an eBay order. Yeah, so before we actually even go into showing it with Amazon, I'm going to show you how I've been using it because obviously you know that I cross list all my items and um, I'm often getting Amazon inventory that gets fulfilled by uh, eBay. Uh, so I'm just going to have a look here. Okay, what I'm logging is I'm logging on my eBay store and making sure that he says, uh, my phone. Uh, I'm looking at my eBay store to actually find exactly how much is the payment that we've actually received from uh, that item. So after all fees and everything, how much uh, we've actually received. So, um, and there's a few nice things you can actually do here for us. So let's actually have a look first of all. So that Nerf gun, okay, we've got a total of 32 and 12. So 32 and 12. Um, so cost of SKU. Let's have a look cost of SKU. So I've got my item here for us. Uh, first of all, let's have a look at this. Okay, now I've connected it to my solar amp. So I can actually put a solar amp and it should be how much I've actually paid for it. So I've paid 15 quid for it. Okay, so 15 pounds I've paid for this item. So all I've got to do is add the cost for this. So 15 and 15. Now if I got my dashboard again, you can see it here now. Uh, it takes a couple of seconds to actually update. And if I go on my orders, you can see how I can actually put the price of the item. Okay, so that is 32.12. And that saved it. And you can see here, okay, what we got. We've got the cost of good and obviously, uh, what else do we need to put on that? So we need to actually put cost of SKU, we need to put how much it costs us to actually post it out. Um, so I can show that afterwards actually, so uh, am I, because that's going to be taken into account afterwards. Um, next one here again, again, no cost of good, how much we've actually paid for this one, 95 quid, okay, so that gives me this profit. So I'll go to my cost of goods. Now, there's two ways to do this, okay? I'm quite an idiot. You can either export your items uh, as you're actually buying stuff, uh, or you can actually go afterwards and sort in it for yourselves. And you can see that this number is gonna be updating for us as we're getting it. I think I might have got another sale really for us. This is why that sale number is actually gone up a bit for us. Uh, oh, actually, no, it's gone up because I've got the 31 quid there. Uh, but yeah, so this is first of all what it looks like, okay, this is very, very important information for us, you can actually have, so say for example, is what is your total cost for items, so let's say, so total unit cost, um, 
a stitch okay so i think is really about twenty thousand for me reason being is i've not input all the cost of goods for my items but the resale value is ninety six thousand. so you can really give you a snapshot if you're actually keeping your stuff nice and tidy uh, i know that i've got some cost of goods that i've actually not put in and uh, is part of the admin usually what i do is as i'm selling an item i'm making sure that i update it but the real thing is i should really download the report and there's plenty of reports really you can actually have here and uh, so fba reconciliation inventory let's say for example um there's so many more stuff you could actually be doing um so we're looking at here okay straight away as i said we've got um units okay so this is very very important okay in your job uh, as an Amazon reseller is making sure that you check in uh, your reference and uh, what's happening with items, are they being lost? Uh, so say for example for me, um, FA reconciliation, inventory, uh, reimbursement of a due. Okay, so I was able to actually uh, check these items, yeah, and contact uh, Amazon in order to actually get my refund on these items. Okay, so I've applied uh, for I think two of them I've actually already got back, which is really, really good. So for me, has actually been quite a game changer, making sure that I've got everything there for us. Um, when it comes to Seller Toolkit, they're also offering the repricer. Eh? Okay, I haven't tried it yet. Okay, I haven't actually tried it at the moment in time. So I think I am tempted uh, to try it. But uh, yeah, a lot of people are using it. So if you're actually considering using Seller Toolkit, they have got a repricer. Eh? Um, that is actually linked very very well together um let's have a look so in that purchases you can actually buy um more data okay so if you link the the um the link below in the description for us you actually get two months uh, of back data uh for free uh but or you can actually buy even more data if you wanted to uh let's have a look at the stuff that i actually like using for me the big one is guys is the dashboard how clean how clean cut it actually is you can figure out how much you're actually spending in storage that is exactly the amount that amazon quoted me uh 142.51 so transportation cost again that is the cost this is why i didn't have to put anything here because that's part of the transportation cost uh for us the subscription for us okay that is your uh your prime uh i need to have a look at what this revaluation is i don't know off the top of my head but um yeah really really pleased in regards to how it actually works for us and uh a few things that let's say for example for us amazon uk yeah so amazon uk uh let's have a look here okay so this is something that i actually bought uh today i was talking on a live and i bought it but um if you've got seller amp okay there's a nice button that you can actually use to export stuff okay so you can actually literally export yeah if you're thinking why has it got a prep it's because usually i'm actually sending my items to a prep center so that's why six depends but if you've got three items you're sending three items and so on and that sends the data straight away to seller toolkit yeah this is why i really 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 like it because then that means you've got all the data there for us uh, when it comes to reports you can actually have different reports that you can actually download uh click button here for us and you can see you can have cost of goods replenishable orders um detailed orders daily sales and so on now part of us to why i like uh seller toolkit too is the fact that it's actually been um it is so it's it's, it's in connected all the apps that i'm actually using okay so i've got ibisource actually connected to it and um hopefully i can actually edit this quickly for us too uh, and so on so why is it important for us to have it because you can use this okay you can actually do reverse scans so you can go on scans reverse scan and what you can actually do is one click of a button okay i've actually um link my seller toolkit and seller amp and i resource all together so i can check my out of stock listings start scan so i'm going to do a none the start scan and that should actually check my out of stock listings for me yeah automatically simply because um may as well do it i've not done it for a week so i may as well get them running uh reverse uh, deleted listings start scan and that means that now i can actually check my items uh in case i can actually find any more items that can be potentially re 
replenishing. Um, and if anyone's interested for all the different stuff that I'm actually using, they're all a bit lower case. So you've got your seller toolkit where let's have a look what we can actually be getting. I think seller toolkit is you get two months back data. Uh, you've got your seller amp that I'm actually using. Again, the link below in the description for scanning stuff and exporting stuff. And as I said, okay, so handy when you've actually have scanned something, uh, literally by pressing a button, you can see how the item appears there. Um, and obviously, even if you scan it in store with seller amp, that will pop up there with the cookies so really important and then you've got Arbisos and uh, if you actually haven't been using Arbisos um, you didn't take advantage of the 33% uh, um, off you've got a new code for 30% off and using the code PTT uh, I'll have a look actually what the code is I think it's PTT30 uh, Arbisos yeah the code is PTT30 and I've got that link below in the description where you can actually be find a different deal for yourself but yeah guys i mean i just thought a quick quick video mainly because um i was actually planning this already but uh, there was a problem this morning i had with seller toolkit um and the, the the response that i actually got it was amazing okay the customer service is amazing you literally email them and they fix it straight away so i'm really really happy to be uh, i'm not getting paid anything care from seller toolkit to do this video um obviously the only reason why i'll get any money from this video is if anyone clicks the link below in the description but um it's just it's just amazing it's just amazing it works as clean cut I 100% was living under a rock because people have been using this for years and uh, for me it just means that I've got a clean cut or how am I doing with my business uh, every day and um, yeah really really happy with it and um, yeah thanks for watching everyone and as always keep thrifting